So it's sort of like with meditation and sort of like lifestyle choices. Like one, one thing that sort of struck me is you quit drinking in 97. And this is about when you left Goldman to Credit Suisse. But it seems to me like I, I don't drink. I quit drinking in college. But my experience has been drinking is sort of an important social part of business. Oh. So it's kind of like, why did you quit drinking? Ooh, wow. <laughs> I don't know how much time you've got uh, on that one. But look, I, I will say I was, uh, for a long time, I didn't talk about sobriety at all. Um, it was of, of the many parts of myself, it was, it was really probably the last one that I started talking about, especially publicly. And, and here's what I discovered. I can't tell you how many times colleagues, but perhaps even more interestingly, clients have come up to me at these exact boozy industry events where I am generally the only non-drinker, right? And, and, and this has happened a hundred times. And they say, Mari, I'm really, it means a lot to me that you talk about this stuff because I, I think I might have a problem. And you're the only person I know who's in the industry and seems to have, have figured it out. And can we talk about it? It didn't happen once or twice. It's happened a hundred times. All right. Now, I, uh, I stopped drinking. I, I think the simplest way to describe it is uh, with an old Chinese proverb. First, the man takes a drink. Then the drink takes a drink. Then the drink takes the man. And I was well into the middle phase and headed fast into the, the third phase. And so I, w I had the good fortune, no personal virtue, um, to become aware of that. And some friends made me aware of that. And I started walking down a different path. I can tell you that one of my great fears was I'm, I'm in the oil business. Like, this is going to be a catastrophe. Like, every, everybody's drinking all the time. What? What am, what am I even going to do or be if I'm not going out and drinking with the traders after the market closes and drinking with the clients at dinner and it's drinking, drinking, drinking. And, and I was going to Houston all the time. And there was, a, you know, in the, in the middle of the oil and gas patch, an awful lot of drinking. And, and I, I thought this is going to be a disaster for my career. And then I realized that's not real. None of that is real. That's just the liquor talking. It's just giving me reasons to take a drink, none of which are real, right? And so I would put, you know, you got a drink to succeed in exactly the same category as you got to play golf right. to succeed on Wall Street. I've never played golf. I've never held a golf club. It's just, it's never occurred to me as interesting. And, and once I joined the board, and we were asked to list our hobbies. And I wrote my hobbies as running, reading, lifting, and listening to classical music. And one of my fellow directors said, those aren't hobbies. <laughs> hobbies are golf, <laughs> right? And I'm like, you know, thank you for sharing your view on what counts as a valid hobby and, and what does not. Um, and ultimately, I, I took a lot of comfort in some advice uh, that my mother had given me. She had so much good advice on so many topics. And, and, and you have to say a little bit in Spanish, right? So, so, so we're all asking our question, what will people say? What will people say? In Spanish, the same thing. Que dirá la gente? And my, my mom would say to that question, que digan misa si puedan, which means let them say mass if they can figure out how to, which is a very, very polite way of saying, I don't care what they think, right? <laughs> and so most, most of our fears about what people will say and what people will think are just a projection of our minds. Most people 
are too busy worried about their own problems <laughs> to actually spend much time thinking about what we're doing. And ultimately I decided people caring whether I put alcohol in me is kind of as preposterous as, as people telling me you must eat cheeseburgers because we're all eating cheeseburgers together. Like you drink alcohol if you want to drink alcohol and maybe I do and maybe I don't. And it's really not your business or my business what you drink. Why don't we all just drink whatever we want to drink and leave it at that. And I guarantee you that works.